Hello, thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, I'm going to be talking about my diet tips for patients with atrial fibrillation. In 2015, the Legacy trial was a very much of a landmark trial, uh, which really focused and showed how much weight loss can improve somebody's atrial fibrillation. It was such an important trial that those results helped make it to the 2019 guidelines for the management of atrial fibrillation. So really has a lot of change in the last uh, few years about an emphasis on weight loss and managing atrial fibrillation because it really has data that shows it can show a significant improvement. So in the legacy trial, uh, it was a five-year study which studied over 350 patients focusing mostly on weight loss and exercise. And there was no real difference between the groups in terms of other medical treatments uh, that they got. So people were underwent diet treatment with a high protein, low glycemic index uh, diet as well as low intensity exercise which was gradually increased over this study period. Now they don't really go into in the study design too much of what type of diet they use or what type of food they use other than it was a high protein, low glycemic index. Uh, but they did find in people who had consistent weight loss had significant benefits in their atrial fibrillation whereas the People who had the highest amount of weight loss, which was over 10% of their initial body weight, especially if they're able to maintain that weight loss over the period of the study, had a six-fold improvement in their atrial fibrillation. So there was a significant improvement in people's atrial fibrillation with about 10% weight loss. In addition, there was also shown to have improvements in their high blood pressure, diabetes, as well as some inflammatory markers. And so weight loss is certainly... Uh, something that can be very beneficial for people who have atrial fibrillation and represents the best option for natural treatment for someone's atrial fibrillation. But how do you guide somebody in terms of diet types? Patients want a lot of guidance. They want to know what types of diets might be okay, what may types may be beneficial. And that's what I'm going to be presenting to you today are, are my diet tips for diets that I think that are satisfactory and potentially beneficial for patients that have atrial fibrillation. So the first diet that I will recommend is the Mediterranean diet. Uh, the Mediterranean diet is the first diet that I typically recommend to my atrial fibrillation patients and it has been the most studied when it comes to patients with all types of heart disease including coronary artery disease as well as atrial fibrillation as well. In a 2014 study called the Pretty Med study, uh, they studied over 6,000 patients over a period of five years seeing how much benefit that they got from the Mediterranean diet uh, using it the traditional uh, staples of the Mediterranean diet as well as well supplementing it with olive oil and found that the, the patients had a significant benefit of a 38% reduction in their atrial fibrillation when they adhere to the Mediterranean diet. Mediterranean diet has been looked at as well as for atrial fibrillation but also for other uh, health conditions including high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, cholesterol, uh, coronary artery disease is found to have significant benefits in a lot of health areas. And it's thought primarily due to the antioxidant effects as well as the uh, anti-inflammatory uh, uh, improvement when adhering to this diet. In the Mediterranean diet, uh, it's a primarily plant-based uh, foods. Uh, it focuses things on fruits, uh, nuts, vegetables, uh, whole grains. Uh, you replace butter with sort of healthier olive oil and replace other healthy fats with olive oil. Using herbs and spices instead of using salt to, to, to season your food. Also limiting red meat with a more of an emphasis on po uh, fish as well as poultry. And so those are sort of the main staples of the Mediterranean diet and there's plenty of really good cookbooks available to help you guide people who want to start the Mediterranean diet. Now the next two diet types that I recommend uh, have not been studied as much, particularly in the scenario of patients that have atrial fibrillation, but they have been shown to have improvements in inflammatory markers and atrial fibrillation has a lot of inflammation involved in it. And so not particularly studying atrial fibrillation, but I think these are healthy diets uh, that can also benefit people who have atrial fibrillation. One would be gluten-free diet, the other one would be the paleo diet. So in the gluten-free diet, a uh, gluten-free diet, basically you're eliminating gluten, which is a protein found in most commonly in wheat and rye and barley products. And so it really eliminates all the grains uh, that are most commonly available. So all the carbs, all the pastas, pizzas, breads are eliminated unless they're specifically made gluten-free. Uh, fortunately, uh, 
in today's world, it's becoming a more of a common place to have gluten-free diets. Uh, so in, in several supermarkets, you'll be able to see uh, gluten-free breads, pizzas, as well as pastas. And so those are okay. And gluten-free diet has been shown to have uh, improvement in people's inflammatory markers and may show an improvement in atrial fibrillation as well. And just the natural process of eliminating foods that have either high carbs or flour in it, it's a, just a healthier way of eating. And so this is another diet that I typically recommend to, to my patients. The last diet that I recommend to patients, which is probably the strictest of all of them, but also may have the biggest health benefit, is the paleo diet. The reason why I like the paleo diet is because it basically eliminates all processed food. In the paleo diet, it's sometimes called the hunter-gatherer diet or the caveman diet. And the basic philosophy of it is that if a caveman couldn't eat it, then you shouldn't eat it either. And so it really puts a focus on food in its most natural elements and eliminates all sorts of processed foods and refined sugars, uh, which have a lot of added, added chemicals into them. So in the paleo diet, it really puts a focus on eating fresh meats, fruits, uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, nuts, and really kind of keeping everything as basic as, as possible. And this may potentially have the best health benefits because it really eliminates a lot of uh, processed foods which can contribute to obesity, high blood pressure, and may also have benefits for heart disease including atrial fibrillation. So those are sort of my three uh, diet tips. Uh, I usually recommend the Mediterranean diet to start off with because uh, it actually has some data behind it to show that it can be beneficial. And I think it is the least restrictive of these three diet types. However, for people who may not tolerate the Mediterranean diet, may not like it and want to go further on, I think that gluten-free diets as well as paleo diets are also very uh, beneficial diets that can help people with atrial fibrillation, uh, mostly because of their emphasis on eliminating uh, processed foods and making food into more of a more natural food and taking away foods that are more refined sugars. But I emphasize to you that all of these diet types, these are a long-term strategy. You can see in the studies that I quoted that patients were studied for five years. None of these diet types are quick fixes. They are part of a, a improved, long-term, healthy eating habits, which can help you with high blood pressure, diabetes, and weight loss, as well as potentially helping you with your atrial fibrillation as well, because there's been a lot of data that shows that weight loss can significantly improve patients with atrial fibrillation and is the best option currently available for a natural treatment for atrial fibrillation. However, just always discuss with your doctor which diet type might be right for you. And of course, these diet types don't, re don't take the place of guideline recommended medical therapy as prescribed by your doctor. So thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.